This is Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV. We're here at the SMM 2018 in Hamburg, Germany, and we're very pleased to be joined by Matt Galston of Cobham. And Matt, first and foremost, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Greg. It's good to be here. So I'm uh, the Senior Director of Product Management for Cobham Satcom Maritime, uh, which means that I uh, essentially look after our entire product portfolio from large VSAT to small and medium VSAT, uh, fleet broadband, Iridium Certus, of course, is uh, just getting ready to launch, so our Sailor 4300 L-band uh, is, is a big uh, part of that, mm -hmm. and uh, our radio safety and tracking GMDSS products as well. The increased use of data and digitalization on ships today is growing exponentially. So when you look at innovation in the SATCOM sector in general, what do you see? Well, I think there's a lot of different ways to go with that. I mean, totally agree that digitalization is a major driver. It's, uh, it's, it's exciting, actually, though, to see that it's not just a buzzword anymore. It's, it's actually happening. And, and I think what's driving that is there have been enough proof points uh, where you know, there's actual ROI that can be identified. And, uh, you know, you look at the, the emissions standards coming in, there's, there's a strong play for digitalization potentially to, to have an impact on, on reduced carbon emissions. Um, so I, I think that what I like about it is the industry has finally woken up and stopped kind of talking so much about the tech and more about the business results that it's driving. And so that's exciting for us because when that mind shift starts to change, uh, you know, you, you look at this technology uh, as, as not something that's, uh, you know, complex and kind of painful and, and a cost center so much as something that is creating new value and driving profitability. And that's when things start to move. So definitely that's what's happening. When we talk about technology evolution in any sector, um, you, you, you talk about where we're at. So when you look at this evolution towards the increased use of data on ships, where are we at on the technology curve? Or not the technology curve, where are we on the curve of acceptance of using it as a business tool? I think we're still at the very beginning. I mean, if you look at the most recent uh, industry consulting reports about number of ships connected by VSAT, it's it's actually very much in the early phases. According to Euroconsult, it's around 25,000 ships uh, as of today. Out of, you know, you have Solus class vessels, which is sort of a good chunk of the market to, to keep your eye on, and that's around 75,000 ships. So we're, we're just at the beginning, but there's, of course, far more vessels out there uh, when you get into the fishing and smaller workboat and, and leisure. Um, but it's, it's th that's just in terms of how many vessels have VSAT equipment on board. Mm -hmm. Now, how many of them are actually starting to collect data, measure it, analyze it, and, and generate insight out of it? I think it's even less, and um, it's, it's only going to take off from here. So in a sense, we want the focus to be more on that latter part, on the analysis and, you know, the analytics, the predictive stuff. I hate to use the buzzword big data because I think it's, it's way too thrown around. But the point is that what we aim to do at Cobham Satcom, you know, in the VSAT realm is, is actually to be really quite boring and, you know, invisible if we do our job right. You don't think about what your home Wi-Fi router, who, who made it or, you know, what frequency is it? working on at this moment or your cell phone, you don't think about these things. They just work and it's taken as a given. And so I think for digitalization to really move in, in, in this industry, we have to get to the point where the, the IT infrastructure mm -hmm. on board the ship and across the whole global fleet is just background and it works. And that's, that's what we do. And obviously your company has been an innovator in this sector. And I understand that you have a new product, the Sailor 100 GX High Power. Uh, can you give us a little insight of how this product has evolved and specifically what is new and unique about uh, this unit? Yeah, so it's, it's, I would maybe not say it's necessarily a, a new whole product. It's, it's uh, an iteration on our, our sort of high runner, market leading uh, Sailor 100 GX, uh, which is the one meter GX terminal um, that is probably a significant share of the of the GX uh, market right now. Mm -hmm. Inmarsat's announced this week that uh, they're they're just about to cross 5,000 vessels on GX, which is pretty incredible. Um, and we're way way beyond uh, half or more of those. So that's that's good news. The the, the high power is all about uh, it's it's a one meter antenna with which has a higher power amplifier on it, uh, which enables Inmarsat's new high data rate service plans, which they're 
sort of tailoring and catering towards some of the higher value segments in maritime that are very data hungry. When you look at the market today, obviously it's very diverse. Um, where do you see the brightest prospects for opportunity for your services? Man, that's a tough one because, I mean, our, our product portfolio is, is quite vast and it covers every segment of maritime from, you know, small fishing boats, work boats, leisure boats, all the way up to the cruise ships and, and military vessels and stuff. I, I, I still think, you know, it's easy to, to identify the smaller boat segments as a huge growth area, and, and it is, but um, I think a lot of talk around that is related to the terminal technology and how can we make them smaller, lighter, uh, easier to use. And, and that's always going to be an ongoing effort. But I still think, I mean, the core business for, for Cobham Satcom is still very much commercial maritime. And, you know, the, the, the number of vessels I mentioned earlier, uh, kind of going through this digital metamorphosis, that's where the, where the action is, so to speak, and, and it's very much uh, focused. But it's also interesting to see, I think the cruise industry is a really interesting example that maybe commercial maritime needs to pay a little bit more attention to. If you see the recent news about um, some of these crazy demonstrations of, of insane bandwidth on ships, you know, two gigabits, three gigabits, um, it's really, really cool. But what, from a technology point of view, that is very cool. But from a business point of view, what's interesting is that they've actually found a business case that supports that. Because if you go back three years, maybe four years, five years, you know, the most bandwidth you would see on cruise ships was 50 megabits per second. So this giant leap in, in terms of investment from their side is driving their ability to distinguish their passenger experience in a very unique and tailored way using all kinds of IoT stuff, which is super neat. But it, it still has to make money at the end of the day. That money is not coming from selling you know, $20 Wi-Fi subscriptions. It's, it's from all kinds of other ways to monetize that data. I'd love to see how that happens in commercial maritime. Where's the business case that, that finally unlocks that value? Awesome. Well, Matt, you've been very gracious with your time. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Okay. This is Greg Troutline with Maritime Reporter TV.